I'm going to show you a technique using frozen marble. The marble's really great, you can just have it kept in your freezer and take it out when you need it. We're going to wrap this cake, we're going to put a collar around the cake and then put some ruffles on top and it's a really easy technique to do. So first of all we have some chocolate and we've melted our chocolate. We do need this marble to be cold because it needs to shock the chocolate. What I have here as well is a strip of paper that's the same size as the collar that I need to wrap around my cake. So when you put your chocolate down, it's going to set very quickly, so you need to be quite fast. So I'm going to spread out some chocolate, and then get my palette knife and smooth it across. And just keep working it and you'll see that it starts to dry. Then I'm going to get my piece of paper, place it on top and just cut. and then take the scraper and scrape it off. Take off the excess. Now at the moment it's still flexible, so we can actually wrap it around the cake. And then we just want to bend the edge very slightly. Now we're going to pipe the little ruffles to go on the chocolate. So just spread a little bit of white chocolate onto the marble. And again, use a palette knife to go backwards and forwards. Release it and then pick it up. And then you're just going to give it a nice fold. And fold back the edges. And then place that on top of the cake. So here you can see two finished cakes. And all we did is we carried on going around the first layer added a second layer and then added just a little bit of a twirl on the top. Now when you cut into these cakes, because of the frozen technique, the chocolate cuts really nice and easily and you get a nice flaky effect. So carrying on with frozen marble, another great technique is to make a little chocolate nest for your Easter chocolate tarts. So what we're going to do is put the chocolate into a piping bag and then we're just going to zigzag across the marble and then scrunch it together. I'm going to use the knife just to cut off the edges and now we need to wait until it's just starting to set and then I can pull them together. So I can see that it's gone touch dry and I can start moving them and then I'm going to start curling it. And then with the little bit that's left at the bottom, I'm going to tuck that underneath. Just cut off any excess pieces and shape it into a little nest. And then this would need to go back into the fridge for at least five minutes to settle before you put it onto your chocolate tarts. So what I've got here is a bowl and I filled it with water and I put it into the freezer to let it go solid. And now I've taken it out, I'm going to turn it over. I've got my chocolate and I'm going to zigzag across the top of the chocolate. Just go backwards and forwards and then go the other way. And then you get your little knife and you just cut around the edge to take off any of the excess. So then we're going to take the bowl off the ice. And again, we would let that, we would put that into the fridge for five minutes to let it set before we filled it with our strawberries. Here I'm going to show you a little technique of dipping the strawberries, but giving a little twist of chocolate on the strawberry. And these are going to go inside our frozen bowl. So we've just got some dark chocolate and some white chocolate, which are both tempered. I'm just going to zigzag across the top. And then I'm going to get my strawberry. I want the little stick on the strawberry so that it can help me twizzle. I'm just going to dip the strawberry in. And then as it comes out, I'm going to twist. So you get a nice twist on the strawberry. And then we're going to lay it down on the paper to set. Always go to a new bit where there's fresh lines and you'll get a nice twist on your strawberry. So once the bowl is set in the fridge, we've also put a little blob of chocolate underneath just to make the bowl stable. So when it goes down onto the plate, it's got a nice place to sit. And then we're just going to pick up the strawberries and place them into the bowl. And that would be a nice little treat for any special occasion.